It's time for Roses and Rosé. Hey, you guys, Bachelor in Paradise. <laughs> oh, here we go, everybody. We'd been hypnotized. Watch the spinning umbrella as it tells you about how you're going to find out about the scandal on the premiere. And then you don't. I was disappointed. I would say that I felt a storm was coming and I got only a little trickle. What's on the end of this umbrella? It looks like a torture device. Let me torture you. Let me tell you that you're gonna see all about Corinne and Demario in the premiere. Let me tease you for weeks of scandal speculation only to give you pretty much what you saw in the promo. Let's dive right in everybody. Oh, those are $40 sunglasses. Anyway, I'm drinking out of a full bottle of wine tonight like a dirty pirate sailor because that's how the Bachelor in Paradise premiere made me feel. Mm -hmm. Mm. Takes a long time for the rosé to get to you once you've finished most of the bottle. Okay. There is trouble in Paradise. Bachelor in Paradise. We have become aware of allegations. So in the beginning, we start out with this like media sound mashup. Oh, JC, thank you. It's JC, everybody. He edits the videos. Hi, JC. And he brought me a table for my phone. It's called a gentleman. Like Ben Zorn. Ben. Ben, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. We'll get to it. So, first we begin with the media talking about the scandal and like voiceovers. And you know what? I was here for that. That's what I wanted more of. I thought we were gonna get like a really distinct timeline of everything and that it was going to be a lot of cuts to black with like text on screen explaining the decisions the producers made. <sighs> that did not happen. Instead, we got Chris Harrison on an empty set. Welcome to a new season of Bachelor in Paradise. He's like, let's start with everything. As you can see, no one else is here. It's just me in these beds. We didn't even wash the sheets. They're left over. Things have been in them, but no one else is here on the set. I'm Chris Harrison. We know. We know. And then we cut to two weeks earlier. So we're gonna see the footage of before the scandal, those first like two days of filming. So everybody's getting there. And here's how I would summarize that. Drink every time somebody likes Dean. I kind of have a crush on him. He is dreamy. <laughs> Drink every time somebody likes Raven. I'm liking what she's wearing so far. All right. You no, know I'm gonna leave this closer to my mouth. And drink every time Iggy enthusiastically greets someone. Wait, he's in love with Dean. What's up? And now be careful, of course, with what you're drinking. Though on Roses and Rosé, we don't have a two drink per hour minimum or whatever it is that they ended up instituting in Paradise. But do be careful and don't drive. So, oh, one more. Drink every time Ben Zorn talks about his dog. I got a dog. Mm -hmm. I, I love the black and brown. I know Zeus wants a dog, Mom. That is a man in love. I don't even know why he's in paradise. He's found the greatest relationship of his life, his dog. He said he was there to find a mom for his dog. That's not a selling point, Ben. I hate dogs. I don't really, but anyway. It's been like unnervingly mellow. I feel like there has to yeah. be something that has to happen. I think so too. Then there's like a lot of sad foreshadowing with Demario. He's here for the right reasons. Welcome to paradise. He's here for a rare first chance at redemption. We all know how this ends up. Yikes. I'm not rushing to find someone. I'm not gonna jump on the first guy that, you know, shows me a little bit of attention. And we really see how Demario and Corinne paired up. I mean, this was probably the most interesting part for me is that we saw that Demario and Corinne were having a real connection. They're like joking about being Angie and Brad. And that's a stretch. But they're like talking about getting engaged and they're like being super sweet with each other and they're both from New Jersey. I mean, drink every time it seemed like they were on their way to like a pretty cute relationship. Demario, Alex, Alex, Demario, okay. He's got a whistle. Mm -hmm. But the explanation stops there. I learned how to say nap. Siesta. You know, and Corinne was even like her old funny self. Girl was cracking me up. Forgot how funny she is. Champagne. Champagne. It's Spanish. It's funny. 
Yeah. Uh, then Amanda Stan came in and threw some hilarious shade at her ex, Josh Murray. He's a sweaty person. And gave Chris Harrison back the ring. It smells like pizza. Then more Chris Harrison alone, and he's like, there's not even a crew. As you can see, I'm still here alone on the set of Bachelor in Paradise. No cast, no crew in sight. Chris, who's filming you? Someone's filming you. A crew. Uh, mm -hmm, that's what I have to say to that. Thank you for taking me on this date. Oh, another game. Drink every time somebody makes out in the premiere. Mm -hmm. Don't do that. That would be so dangerous. There were so many makeouts on this premiere. They really tried to show a lot of like the other love connections that were made, you know, so we can set up the whole rest of the season and not make it be about the scandal. And I get that, but I needed more of the scandal because it just got confusing. You know, I was confused. So we go through all this, and then, you know, it's like everybody's making out and suddenly it's the morning after. It's the morning after things with Corinne and Demario. And I literally was like, did I, when I was sweating through the commercials that I don't watch, did I miss something? Did I miss a spot? Did I miss, where, where was it? Did I miss some more information? I'm confused. It was the morning after and Demario's like, you know, this is my fourth smoothie the other day. I must say that I feel rejuvenated. I'm on my fourth smoothie. What? What? I mean, for who, how can you drink that many smoothies? And so I'm distracted by that, but still, I need to know what happened. Again, I was looking for like a cut to black, like a, like a, I don't know, like, you know, in a documentary, like it's like cut to black and there's white text on the screen and they're like, production has chosen not to show this footage out of respect for all parties. Blah, 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 blah. And like, and I needed something like that. A, an out of respect for all parties kind of a moment because they're trying to make everything seem so happy. And you know what? It was up. That do it's just a little thing. Can I? Can yeah, I oh yeah, you can bust it up. Oh, yeah, looking good, man. Now Robbie's here because again things are happy, and Robbie's hair is here. And I did kind of love how much they all laughed about Robbie's hair. Robbie just is really like, and his teeth, and all the swimsuits he brought, and all the speedos he brought. Drink every time you see Robbie with one of his swimsuits. Mm -hmm. I brought my Speedos, so maybe you'll get to see them. I was hoping you were going to I did. I, brought I needed to see the Speedos, though. How many, Robbie? How many? We'll have them at etonline.com. We'll answer your burning questions. He talked about being an influencer. No, he did not. <laughs> we're all just supposed to keep smiling like Robbie, like nothing's happened, but a lot's happened. And then, this was a nice little moment. Raven went on a date with Robbie, and you know, his hair flips. And she gave the most hilarious Siskel and Ebert level review of her date with Robbie. You can't go on another date with someone who has prettier hair than me, prettier skin than me, and prettier abs than me. Props to Raven. And then she's like not even into Robbie. She's into Ben Zorn and she tells him he was a better kisser than Robbie. That was better than Robbie. <laughs> oh my God. Drink every time Raven owned this premiere. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not that easy. This was cooler in my head, this drinking out of the bottle thing. Mm -mm. That's how most of my life goes. Lauren, cooler in my head, Zima. Cooler in my head, the Lauren Zima story. It's the name of my bio. Anyway, and in my biography, it cuts to black on the first page. Matt goes on a date with Jasmine, and I, it really made me like Matt. I mean, he was a sweetie always but it was nice to see like how fun he is too. I like Matt, great. And I like Jasmine. Jasmine's just doing her thing, having fun, great. But seriously, what about Corinne and Demario? Stop hypnotizing me with the fun, ABC. Stop it, stop it, stop it. I wanna see what happened. Siesta. Anyway, I knew they weren't gonna show us the moment, but I did need to see more moments. So in like the last five minutes of the episode, oh, and Derek and Taylor hit it off, great. I talked to Derek about the premiere. That interview's up at etonline.com. Shameless plug. Also a sweetheart. Also getting his due in paradise. I like it. No. What's up, what's the deal? So in the last five minutes of the episode, it's like, 
Corinne's gonna give her rose to Vinny. And you're like, what? When did Corinne and Demario stop being the Angie and Brad of Paradise? We're confused. Why are they not even like flirting still on the second day? What happened? And then production is shut down and there are shaky camera angles and people are confused. And again, it's mostly footage we saw in the promos. And then we're teased to Tuesday. Tomorrow night on Bachelor in Paradise. And on Tuesday, we're gonna see production resume again. And we're gonna see that. Am I gonna watch it? Yes. But again, did I want more? Yes. So we're out. That's it. That's it. I don't know. Was I the only one who felt like the ages were weird? Like, is Taylor really 23? I thought Taylor was older than 23. I don't know. You guys, it was about sinking or swimming, and we suck. This is fogging up and really impeding my fake eyelashes. I wish that I, here, here's an idea. This is, hold on. I have a great idea. Mm -hmm. Oh, not gonna work. <laughs> I was trying to do a snorkel bong. <sighs> I love these shows, but I was disappointed. Mm -hmm. And I have to tell it like it is. So please let me know, were you guys disappointed? I am available on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and please like ET on Facebook and subscribe to us on YouTube where we will continue on all these journeys together. <sighs> Who would you guys rather be stuck on a desert island with? Derek, Dean, or Demario? That was a weird third option, but I still want to know. Derek built a fire. Derek built a fire for Taylor, but Dean, you know, I guess everything's really cute. Not really my type. And Demario is pretty funny. So, let me know. Have a great night, everyone. Stay dry. This is gonna hurt. I need to loosen this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Really, really afraid right now. I have a master's degree. <laughs> well, I can't breathe. Okay, just go my mouth. Mm -hmm.